please welcome Ed Asner. Well, all those shots, you know. What are you going to do? Listen, I want to tell you that I think you deserve a great medal. Thanks, Mr. Asner. I appreciate it. You can call me Ed. I can call you Ed? Yeah. Okay. Uh, after what you called me the other night. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were both intoxicated and it was dark. I wasn't intoxicated. Well, I can find you even when it's dark. I hope that's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there are certain denoting uh, characteristics. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> now, when you were a kid growing up, did you have a lot of ladies, a lot of girlfriends? I didn't have diddly squat. Are you serious? Where'd, what neighborhood did you well, go? I think I became an actor. Oh. I became an actor to get girls. I'm still that waiting. <laughs> Oh, come on. You've had some, you've been married a couple times. You have a bunch of kids, grandkids. You've had a Is good... Is that how that happened? Yes. Oh. In the dark. Yeah. Yeah. For two princes. <laughs> but you, you started, did you start like always know when you were a kid you wanted to be an actor? No. No. no I, I loved to get up on stage whenever I was drafted. You, you didn't, you know, act like you wanted to act, get, get in the play because that'd be a sissy. So, oh, isn't that true? In your era, if oh, a guy yeah. wanted to be an actor or get yeah. in the play, oh, it was no. like, oh, no, something no, wrong. No, but I was delighted when I was chosen. And then I did radio in high school, and I loved that because they couldn't see how ugly I was. You, and, come on. Uh, I have videotape of you on a show in the early 50s. In the thong? You're... <laughs> yes, and you're wearing it backwards, and we couldn't tell if you were coming. Oh! <laughs> But this is Studio One in Hollywood, 1957. Mm -hmm. Okay, just it's, you're playing a, you're doing a 1930 area uh, era piece mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. um, so let's just take a look. Here's Eddie Asner. How old are you here, 1957? You're just a kid. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> here we go. This is Bayonne, New Jersey, calling Langham Field. This is Bayonne, New Jersey, calling Langham Field. Come in, please. Come in, please. This is Langham Field. Go ahead. <laughs> It was a big deal. You only, we watched well, the whole thing. That was a, that was H. G. Wells, Orson Welles. Right. H. Uh, G. Wells War of the Worlds. So they 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 called me and said you 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 you're one of the radio cast in <laughs> uh, in War of the Worlds. So I didn't know how the show was written or anything. So I wrote home to my big business brother in Kansas City, Kansas. And I said I'm doing a lead on Studio One, and and so. I, I get there. I don't even have a name. I know your character. <laughs> I'm actor one or something like that. So he gets a big article printed in oh, the Kansas no. City Kid. And as it will be doing a lead on Studio One. And I was like, oh, yeah, God. Yeah. But before that, you worked as a cab driver, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, what, what, were those, what was that time? Like? Where were you then? Chicago. You were driving the cab in Chicago? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, great city, huh? Uh, it, it's it's the city, yeah. the city, and I worked in. Uh, I sold over the phone there. Oh yeah, salesman. Yeah, mm -hmm. I Tell, was selling TV advertising. And what about and the guy in charge? Kept saying, "You got to do the speech. You got to do the speech." So I tried to do the speech. First guy I gave it to, he kept trying to stop me. And I, I said, "Well, wait, wait, wait." Now I finished the speech, and he said, "Well, I got to tell you, you know, you, you you read that well. That's the worst speech I've ever heard." So I, I didn't say that. I used to borrow cab fare to go You're, down to work. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But then eventually you Not were... Not cab fare. I mean subway fare. What am I talking about? Yeah, cab? well, I was like, wow, can I yeah. get somebody to take a cab? <laughs> I, used to have, I used to borrow limo fare to get to work. <laughs> exactly. Okay. We'll be right back more with Ed when we come back.